Uh, I'm gonna do it for the content, and I'm actually gonna try to build another computer with the $200. But this time, I'm not gonna be doing the same thing. I'm not gonna go for the same, you know, find the bare minimum and throw it together. I'm actually going to try and build a computer that needs DDR4 RAM. I have no clue if that's possible with the $200. I really don't think it is. But I just found a deal that might help make it possible. I got a deal right here on OfferUp. I'll show you the screenshot. $35 for eight gigabytes of DDR4. Now it's not quality RAM. It's Pacific Sun memory. I've heard of it before. It's like one of those really cheap off brands, but even brand new, I'm pretty sure it sells for like at least 60 bucks. But uh, it's a start. <sighs> well, this sucks. I just wasted probably the last 35 minutes standing around. Yeah, the guy never showed up. Okay, so something I should have recorded yesterday, which I didn't, uh, is that guy who completely just stood me up, reached out to me like two minutes after I got back home, saying, hey, my bad, didn't see your message. So we ended up going back, getting the RAM, and he actually sold me a pretty decent drive for 10 bucks. I, I could have been more patient, I could have waited, and maybe have gotten one for $5 like I did the first time, which will might bite me in the ass later. But now... What we're doing is we actually are getting a 660 Ti. It's the car we started with. It's a PNY variant, though. We're, get, we're going to a park right now. We're going to get it for $25. 660 Ti blower style fan by PNY. And to end today, I actually scored a really good deal on a motherboard and power supply combo. I'm getting the two of them for 50 bucks. I actually don't have the offer up ad in front of me. I, I remember what the motherboard is. I don't remember what the power supply is but I can promise you both of them are quality products. Sorry for the iPhone quality. I didn't want to bring my camera and now I'm really glad I didn't. I'm in a really bad area in Las Vegas. Um, it's like by a casino that's like right next to a highway, um, which is hella ghetto, but I got the part I needed. Um, again, I'm, I'm really sorry for the quality. Let me turn this on. It's not an EVGA Supernova. I was really hoping it was. Uh, the people I was buying from didn't know what they had. But I ended up getting a fully modular, no, semi-modular uh, Rosewell power supply. It's 80 plus bronze, 650 watts. Um, I hope it works. Oh my god. So another thing I don't think I clarified yesterday night, sorry, I was just kind of in a rush, a little bit scared with everything that was going on, is that I also didn't get the motherboard that the person said they had because it said... It was an Asus Prime Z170 on the front, you know, for 25 bucks, that would have been insane. But um, they didn't have it. They didn't even know what they had. So, you know, that kind of sucked. So I'm, I'm back to, not square one, but I'm, I'm pretty far back again because I don't have a processor and a motherboard. But then today happened and someone posted an i3-8100 for $60. I took a shot in the dark. I messaged this guy. I said, hey, can I get the processor for $40? Which it does come with an Intel stock heat fan, by the way. He messaged back five minutes ago saying, you know what? Fine, I'll do $40. So I'll show you guys a screenshot. I, hold, I'm starting to take the screenshots with time codes so you guys, it's more believable that I'm, I'm getting the prices I'm getting them at you know, today and I'm not faking stuff from that I've done in the past. Oh, hell yeah. Check this thing out. So one extra little bit of good news actually is I'm on Newegg right now. I'm about to buy the motherboard. We're getting an ASRock H310M for $45.03. And, and I forgot I had a ShopRunner account, which is free to sign up for. It knocked off the shipping charge. So our grand total is actually just $45.03. Let's go. Oh, my hands aren't big enough. So I've definitely been going through a little bit of a drought here. I haven't been able to find any cases anywhere on the local market. And I really don't want to settle for one of those cheap $20 free shipping cases on eBay. So right now I'm debating whether or not I should be patient and keep waiting. Or if I just should go ahead and cave and get one of those cases. You guys are not going to believe this, so, oh, jeez. So someone finally posted a case 
that was micro ATX with the glass panel, and I've been messaging him today, and I asked him, hey, can I get it for 20 and I'll show you on the screen right now a screenshot of what it is. It's an in-win case, and he was listening for 50 and he's like, I can't do that. That's too low. So I said, uh, you know, sure, I understand. Um, I waited like four hours. I really expected not to hear anything back because this case goes for like $100 new. And he said, if you show up tonight, it's yours for 20 So uh, I'm going to go get that right now. And yeah. <laughs> So, I was really tired last night. I couldn't get to this build, but woke up. I think it's like 8 o'clock in the morning right now. So, I'm going to build this thing and let's get it going. This thing kind of looks like dookie, but thankfully this front window is tinted. I'll give you a quick, quick, a quick peek inside. Oh God. The biggest concern here obviously is does this thing work? And I have no idea yet. So what we're gonna do now is take it over to the testing area and cross our fingers and, uh, and see what happens. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Ah, oh, this sucks. Well, I'm going to troubleshoot this thing a little bit, and then I'll see if I can get it to work. Oh. Based on what I can see on the screen right now, the computer is working. I bought a bad power supply. Um, so while I'm glad that everything else in this computer works miraculously, I, I knew it was all too good to be true. I knew something um, had to be bad here, so... The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to message the person I bought the power supply from. Is there any way you can refund me? I'm hoping that I'm not out $25 here because if I can't get my $25 back, I'm fully confident I can buy another power supply. But if I can't and these people just ghost me, then um, I'm kind of screwed. Okay, so the update is, is that the woman who sold me the fried power supply said that let me get back to you. I'm working right now. Unfortunately, I can't wait that long because there was another deal that popped up today for a power supply for $20. So what I'm going to do, which is probably a little bit of breaking the rules here, is I'm going to get the power supply from this guy for 20 bucks, and then I'm going to go get my money back from this woman later. So yes, right now I do only have 22 cents in the budget, but... I'm hoping that you'll be able to overlook this just a little bit. Uh, I could be patient. I could wait for another deal to come up. Um, but to be honest, I don't know if another one is going to come up. I got the power supply. Hopefully this one works. Yeah! <laughs> I guess the next thing to do is bench it. Try to get Fortnite on here really quickly, as well as some other tests. And uh, hopefully this thing's more powerful than the first one. Okay, so this thing definitely performs a lot better than the last computer. My only concern now is, I mean, now that we've proven this modded BIOS is actually insane, it's like, how do we prove this to people that are actually going to be buying the computer? If, if they see 660 Ti, their first instinct is, oh, old 6th generation car, was it do? Well, it can do over 60 FPS consistently on high settings with high anti-aliasing on for Fortnite. <laughs> So it's been a few days and I'm actually having a very tough time selling the computer. I'm not even getting any nibbles. So because this has proven to be so difficult, something that I'm going to try doing is flipping my 660 Ti 
and then trying to get a better graphics card, a, a newer one, and hope that that will attract new buyers. So what I've done is I've listed the 660 Ti, or I did yesterday, on Hardware Swap on Reddit, and someone is buying it for $50 shipped, so it's going to cost me $10 to ship it. I already did the price, uh, the price calculator for the shipping label, and... I am buying locally a 1050 for $40. Yeah. I appreciate it, man. Yeah. Awesome, yeah. we'll do. Thank you. Yeah. Gigabyte 1050. So yeah, got the 1050 now. Ship the 660 Ti. Let's throw this thing in the system. Hopefully this increases my chances of selling. And to wrap up the day, I actually have some good news. I posted the power supply that the woman sold to me that doesn't work. Um, I'm not going to go into how that story resolved itself because uh, it didn't. She's basically being scummy and not going to return my money to me. But it did come with modular cables. And someone is willing to buy it off me for $20, which is what I got the other power supply that replaced this one. So technically, I am still within the money that I used and have been earning from the starting flipping, uh, the total flipping amount. So we're back on track. Now I just have to sell the computer. It has been a pretty disappointing week. Uh, I did finally sell the computer. I had it listed for $400. I thought I could at least get 350. Um, and the best offer I actually got locally was 300, but I turned it down. I regret that now because I forgot I had the computer listed on eBay. Uh, it had a buy it now price of 400 and a starting bid of 275 and someone actually last second bid uh, for 275 plus shipping. So unfortunately, I had to ship the guy the computer. I, I know I, I could have canceled the transaction if I really wanted to, but I figured there's one week left to the competition. Let's just get rid of this thing. Mm -hmm.